Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today, I'm very excited to share with you my Shabby Chic Loaded Bustier Purse. Last month, I participated in a Valentine swap with Natalie Armstrong. Before I show you the project, I do want to show you what I'm shipping the project in. In my previous video, I showed you some packaging ideas that I use from my swaps and Happy Mail. In front of you is a, another beautiful photo box. I absolutely love this box. I love the light pastels and the beautiful flowers. This is just a very nice box to mail things in. So let's take a look at the project. As you can see, this project fits perfectly. Inside is my loaded bustier. Some of you may remember this bustier project that I created last month, and I did a full review and a tutorial. However, I did not load it with any contents. The paper that I used is by Anna Torres. Her Etsy store is called Lace Boutique One and the paper collection is called Love is Kind. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is so pretty. As you can see, I've lined the cups with this beautiful pearl trim. I've got this beautiful floral applique in the background lined with this beautiful pink flower with pearl details and I love these beautiful crochet tassels here. And then I finished it off with this beautiful white polka dot trim, flowers, and ribbon. And this is what the back looks like. As you can see, this loaded bustier is filled with fun goodies, so let's get started. For this project, we had to create the bustier, we had to create a layer tag, embellishment, a fancy fold card, a candy box, and other fun goodies from your stash, such as lace, embellishments, or other items. The first thing that I created is this fun little heart wand. I love creating these because they serve as good filler in a package, and they're also very cute. I just used a fun iridescent Chanel stem and then light pink, wrapped it around this fun puffy heart, and then I used a light pink straw with pretty foil hearts on it. I created this beautiful fancy fold card. This card measures just about seven inches. I did make this in Cricut Design Space. I used the white polka dot trim on the top. This bow is a double bow. It's a wedding bow that I created in Cricut Design Space. I believe the file name is called 3D Bows. If you look closely, you can see that I have this beautiful white crocheted bow in the back, and then I've layered it with this soft pink flower with a pearl, and it's got this very pretty and delicate crochet trim. I did finish this off with a line of pearls on the front of the corset, more of this polka dot trim on the bottom, and then inside we have this beautiful white iridescent paper. Isn't that romantic? I included this beautiful lace trim from my stash and to make this tag I use my graphic 45 die. This is the regular tag size die. This is lined with chipboard and I use this beautiful champagne pink bow on the top. But look at this trim, I think it is so pretty. And then I've got it fastened with these pearl stick pens on the bottom. I did finish this off with this beautiful white polka dot trim and then more pearl beading. At the bottom here, you can see this little sentiment that says, love is patient, love is kind. We had to create a layered tag. I absolutely love the way this tag came out. This again was made using the Graphic 45 die. It is also lined with chipboard. In the back, I have this beautiful corset on a hanger, and this is a die that I had in my stash. This bustier here I cut out in Cricut Design Space. I lined this with beautiful ivory lace trim and I used a darker color pearl to line the bustier. To bring out the deeper pink colors in this paper line, I use this dark foiled heart in the back and I line that with this pretty heart that's got the cherubs on it. This is part of the ephemera 
from the paper collection. Isn't that pretty? I line this with a beautiful paper bow, a rose, and then smaller flowers. We have this beautiful butterfly here that I created using a Martha Stewart punch. I cut this out in a dove gray paper and I went over it with the glitterific paint. I really love the way it complements this paper. And on the bottom here we have this pretty green tassel and more of this white polka dot trim. I also used this pretty teacup flowers. They also have these tiny, tiny pearls. I think that is so pretty. Here's a close up. And this is what the back looks like. I love this cherub. This paper is filled with lovely cherubs. And then you can see here, I've got more of this polka dot trim as well as a pearl beading. We had to create embellishments. For this, I used the large graphic 45 tag die. Again, this is lined with chipboard. And I did use a spellbinders die in the back to create this white iridescent background. I think that is so pretty. And I layered more of these bows. You'll notice that I have two different bows here. Both of the bows, as well as the heart rosette, were cut out for Cricut Design Space. This first bow here is a double loop wedding bow. I had that lined with this pretty crocheted flower, a beautiful rose, more of that glitterific paint. Here's a pretty rosette heart that I have lined with flowers, and then this turquoise pearl trim and glitter pink paper. And this bow is different. I have a scallop trim, another rose, and this has a crocheted bow in the background. And this is what the back looks like. We also had to create a wand and I absolutely love the way this wand turned out. I had so much fun making this. I used a Spellbinders die in the back. Now one thing that I notice is sometimes when you make wands and you ship them, this back part here can get crinkled. A lot of people use thin doilies. So the way that I get around that is I cut out this doily shape in the white iridescent paper and then I cut out another piece in 110 pound cardstock so it makes it really sturdy as you can see. I cut out this wide rosette in Cricut Design Space. Here is another Spellbinders die. I love this piece here. I lined it with faceted gemstones. We have more of this pink buttercup floral sprays here, a beautiful butterfly. I love this large oval iridescent pink gemstone here. We've got flowers, another pink flower here, more flowers on the side. I've layered two different hearts here and in the back is a little circle of pearls, which I think is so pretty. On the bottom, I used my bow dabra to create this triple bow. I did use this pink champagne ribbon. I thought that was so pretty. And I also used this beautiful iridescent tool, a light pink tool, this white glittery trim, and last but not least, I used this pearl trim. But I think this is just so beautiful. I almost don't want to give this one away. <laughs> we also had to include gourmet chocolates and I created this beautiful candy box using my We Are Memory Keeper candy box punch board. I lined this with a spray of flowers. We've got two beautiful roses, one in dark pink, a light pink, and then I included these two white flowers on the side. I did include these light pink pearls throughout the spray. And then on the side, I used this pink champagne ribbon, and then I stuffed the sides with this pretty iridescent tool. I think that is such a pretty presentation. Now to make this candy box, I did use 110 pound cardstock, so it's nice and sturdy and it can be easily reused. And last but not least, I included a number of goodies inside for my swap partner. 
this concludes my review of my Shabby Chic Valentine Loaded Bustier. I've included photos of this project at the end of this video. Hopefully, I have inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now, and happy crafting.